Hey you guys, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you, Smalls. My dog is looking at me. Welcome back to my channel. It's me here, Sarah, with another video. Um, so this video is basically going to be my 2020 2021 <laughs> wish list for all the designer things or just things that I just want in general more this year so in the past i feel like i've had a history of just kind of like getting things because i'm bored and i don't really have like a focus of things that i want and what it goes with so at the end of the day like i just kind of have like random stuff and most of my stuff does like go along with each other i can match because i am a neutrals girl um but <laughs> i love you but in the same breath, I kind of need items that just make sense. I need to center my focus. I need to create a wish list um, like this video and just like go according to plan with stuff. Um, and also, I just have things on my list that I just always wanted but never got um, because I just do random like stuff. So this is a way of me focusing and making sure I get the things that I dream about and things that are on my list. So... <laughs> If you guys want to see more videos like this, or if you guys want to see more designer videos, please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram so you can see the pictures of me wearing all that good stuff. Um, and keep watching if you want to hear what I want for my 2021 wish list. And as always, if you guys want something, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys are looking for, what you guys like. Um, maybe I might want to jump on that bandwagon and get some of that stuff too. So leave a comment and let me know. Okay, so first things first. The first item that I want on my wish list are shoes. So um, I'm not really into sneakers. I have sneakers. I love sneakers, but it's not gonna like, it's not exciting for me to get. Like it's not one of those things like, oh, I just can't wait to get some sneakers. I have cool IPC sneakers, but it's just not exciting for me to get. What's most exciting are bags and stuff, which is probably why I don't have this yet. Um, so my first item that I really, really want are Chanel sneakers. I recently bought, um, I'm going to leave a picture here somewhere of the sneakers that I want. I recently bought Chanel Espadrilles, which I've been wanting for so long, like for so long, probably since I was in high school. I just got them in black leather. If you guys want to see an unboxing of that, let me know. I just got that in black leather and my sister for Christmas, I bought her Chanel sneakers and Ever since she started wearing hers, she got two pairs of Chanel sneakers. I've just wanted Chanel sneakers as well, kind of following her, but they're just so cute. They're so like plain, neutral, they go with anything and they're really just good. They're really just good sneakers to have. Um, so the Chanel sneakers, at the price point, I want to say, um, I think after tax and everything, it's close to like 900 thousand dollars when you buy them retail at the store which is what i want to do i don't really want to um buy them off of stock x or go or something like that i just want to go to the store and get them myself i'm really into the black and the um gray color the white i feel like it's almost too white it's like hospital white and i feel like i would easily destroy them so <laughs> me knowing me i'm gonna try to get some nice neutral chanel sneakers this year I feel like I can wear them with so much and I can't, I already have New Balances and although they're not the same exact thing, I feel like the ones that I want and New Balances are very, very similar in the way that you can style them and I wear my New Balances down, like I wear them out. So of course I'm not going to wear my Chanel sneakers out, but like down, down like too much, but I feel like these will be a nice alternative so I can be able to switch up my sneakers and um be able to switch it up and also do like a high-end luxury look because i want to look you know expensive when i go out so those are definitely the sneakers that i want to get another pair of sneakers that i want to get are another pair of new balances right now i have um the new balances that all like the youtubers instagram girls are wearing they're gray neutral and cute but of course i think i want another pair of new balances but with a hint of color in it maybe so i can like dress up an outfit or won't be so monochromatic because everything I wear is always so gray, black, and white. I do wear my New Balances, but I feel like if I had a little bit of color in the current ones that I have, it might spice up an outfit a little bit more. And I can insert a picture of what I'm looking at right now. But I feel like those two sneakers are a must-have for me, at least for this year. Okay, so the next item that I do want to get um, are accessories. 
So I just got the Christian Dior bracelet in gold. It's not, I'm not wearing it right now because it's just impossible to get on with these nails. But I love the bracelet. It's a gold bracelet. Um, it has a CD initials on it and it's just like a lock that you just put on, that you just snap on and it's beautiful. But when I went to the Christian Dior store, I originally wanted to get the kind of like woven friendship bracelets that Christian Dior has, but I didn't get it because I felt like those bracelets need to be stepped without something else. I don't really have, I have my name bracelet that I've had since I was a child, but I don't really have bracelets on Galore, like Alex Tanani, but I just felt like the gold um, Christian Dior bracelet should be the first item that I get and then I should add on top of that. So next I wanna get the two Christian TR bracelets that come together. They're woven, they're like friendship bracelets. I'll insert a picture. And I think these bracelets are just so beautiful. They're so cute, so effortless and they're adorable to me. They just fit my like vibe and what I like to dress like when I go out. And I just think the bracelets are beautiful. Long story short, I love them. Um, they add definitely to an outfit by accessorizing. I feel like people forget the art of accessorizing or maybe they go too hard with the art of accessorizing and those the bracelets as a combo just look beautiful, classy, and that's what I'm all about in 2021. I want to keep it simple. I want to keep it beautiful. I want to look like just expensive and that bracelet set, beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so the next item that I want to get for 2021 is a designer handbag and I have a couple of designer handbags. I have a good few, but I do feel like recently I have been going the trendy route. This year I got the Balenciaga bag and that ben Balenciaga hourglass bag, crocodile tan, like a tan pink color. And I love that bag, but it's such a dressy bag that I can't really wear as casual as I would like to wear. Um, I also got the multi pouchette Louis Vuitton bag with the green strap, which is another, I don't wanna say trendy, but it is pretty trendy right now. I know it will last in the future. It'll definitely be a bag that's a classic bag, but I wear that down. I wear that a lot because it's just so easy to wear. Um, those are two bags I've gotten this year. And because I've kind of noticed that I'm following a trend with the bags that I'm getting, I kind of want to go more of the classic route and less of the trendy route and get the mini Lady Dior bag. So I love that bag. I love the Dior bags in general. Dior bags are just beautiful, classic. If you're looking for a classic bag, definitely go to Dior or East Saint Laurent. And the Dior mini Lady bag is just so me. I'm very classic. I'm like very very classic very very neutral minimalist look but the bag is just so beautiful i like the mini because of the chain strap that it has i do love the other sizes but something about that chain strap really does it for me and i'm always into mini bags i love mini bags mini bags are just me so um that's definitely a bag i want to get it's very very pricey so right now i'm currently saving for that bag i hope to be able to get it soon but I'm also not gonna kill myself to get a bag. I feel like if you can't afford to buy the bag twice, don't get the bag at all. So until I can afford to get it twice, I will not be getting that bag. But hopefully that will be a bag that I get this year. Um, I'm just in love with the bag. I'll insert a picture of the bag. Right now I'm very like much so leaning towards the black patent leather. Although the red is beautiful. I love the love of red. It's like a cherry red bright color, just juicy looking. I already have two bags that are red and I don't really need another red bag. I feel like if I were to do a color, it would be able to tag a bag and um, like green. Like that is beautiful to me. Um, but I'm kind of over red right now. And I don't think the mini Dior bag comes in another color that I'm interested in. I do like the regular black, but I feel like the black patent leather is just, like I said, juicy. It looks good. It looks luxe. It looks classic. Um, and it's probably the closest vibe I'm going to get for Chanel right now. I actually think the price is similar or close to a Chanel bag, but um, it's not close to the Chanel bag that I, I want. I do have other bags that I like. Um, I like the Yves Saint Laurent Sunset bag. I think that's a beautiful classic bag that I also am interested in, but I'm not going to get it right now because I do want to focus on getting that lady bag. That bag is the one for me. 
but maybe after I get the lady bag, I can go to something else. Maybe the saddle and the brown color. I think it's beautiful. The late um the YSL sunset bag and lastly the Bottega bag, the cassette bag with the strap. Not so much with the chain because I feel like the chain is kind of trendy. Um, but the Bottega bag that's quilted, the cassette bag with that strap, I think is beautiful and brown, green, like I said, black is beautiful. But like I said, I'm also trying to do classics, so maybe not the green. I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet because I'm not going to get that bag immediately. But I think those bags are beautiful if you want something classic. And also something that's just never going to go out of style. Like classic, timeless, beautiful handbags that are also currently now in. Like you were going to look at it, girl, if you wear one of those bags. There's no way you won't. Just letting you know. Spilling some tea, spilling some facts. Those are the bags. Those are the bags. You heard it here first. Sarah's channel, those are the bags. Okay, so the next and final items that I want to get for 2021 are just really good pieces of clothing. So um, I'm trying not to do so much fast designer wear because things go in trend and out of trend so, so fast, um, especially with Instagram and fast fashion. Um, I really want to start investing more on my pieces of clothing. Um, so I just want to start guy buying really good quality things. I love the Jack. I'm going to butcher this name. I can't really talk in general. Nutre. But, um, and it's French, can't speak French or even pronounce things in French. I'm gonna butcher it, don't come for me. The Jack Mez clothing, I love their tops, um, I love their pants. I think they're beautiful, they're neutral, and especially the new collection just came out. Are, it's just beautiful for spring, which we're currently in, as you can see outside. Um, and into the summer, I just think it'll be so, so pretty with the little bag. I love Jack Mez clothing. So I want to start investing in some of their pieces. I also want to start um, wearing some Alexander Wang pieces because I feel like they are minimal. They are neutral, which I love. And I feel like they're good quality. They look amazing on. It's just something that I will never not want. Um, some of the things I'm looking at from them are the Alexander Wang dresses. I just say, um, I think it's W-A-N-G right here. The crop tops like that. And I know you guys are probably thinking crop tops are not timeless. For me, they are. I'll be 50 wearing a crop top. Love the Alexander Wang crop tops. Um, I love the body contrast from Alexander Wang. And I love the shorts. They look like boxer shorts um, from Alexander Wang. I feel like I could wear those perfectly in the summer with just regular crop tops, um, with button downs. I just feel like it's a vibe that I won't get tired of. And it is pretty pricey. But I do feel like you won't be upset that you invested in some good pieces like that because you can wear them again summer after summer and you will look good. You will look rich, luxe, expensive, exactly what we're going for on this channel. Um, so those are the items I'm kind of looking for right now. That's what I want to go with in 2021. I do feel like these items are exactly my vibe right now. My vibe is just living life and <laughs> looking really looks and good and i feel like having a wish list and making your own wish list of what you want can be so so effective in helping you shop meaningfully and purposefully and that's exactly what i'm trying to do this year so those are the items that i'm interested in in 2021 please drop below the items that you guys are interested in and also if you guys are interested in looks like designer lifestyle hair beauty all things of those sorts make sure you guys follow me and subscribe to my channel and make sure you guys follow me on instagram it's shy sarah and i'll place it down here and as always i will see you guys in the next video bye